One Sign Pad. This is one example of stream encryption. Stream encryption is the encryption of each letter one by one and changes the encryption key after each letter. One Time Pad Encryption To understand One Time Pad, you need to have a key that is the same length as the message. The key is chosen from a random string of letters and does not resemble any English language. Alice and Bob each have a copy of the same One Time Pad of random letters, which can only be used once, hence the name One Time Pad. There is no other copy of this. Alice wants to send Bob a message. Meet me outside. Alice creates a table like this. She inserts the plain text message into the first row. Then the numerical representation for each plain text letter in the second row. Since there are 13 letters in the message, the first 13 letters of the one time pad are used and put in the grid on the third row. Row 4 is the numerical representation of the one time pad letters. The fifth row is the numerical ciphertext. This is the total of the numbers in rows 2 and 4 within the column. So, 12 plus 1 equals 13. 13 is the numerical representation for N. 4 plus 3 equals 7. 7 represents H. 4 plus 20 equals 24. 24 represents Y. 19 plus 5 equals 24. 24 represents Y. 12 plus 6 equals 18. 18 represents S. 4 plus 7 equals 11. 11 represents L. 14 plus 22 equals 10 in modular 26. 10 equals K. 20 plus 4 equals 24. 24 represents Y. 19 plus 8 equals 1 in modular 26. 1 equals B. 18 plus 20 equals 12 in modular 26. 12 equals M. 8 plus 5 equals 13. 13 equals N. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 equals J. 4 plus 22 equals 0 in modular 26. 0 equals A. Therefore, the cipher text is N H Y Y S L K Y B M N J A One Time Pad Decryption Bob receives this ciphertext message from Alice. He gets the first page of the One Time Pad and prepares a table. He puts the ciphertext in the first row and its numerical representation in the second row. Since he now knows that there are 13 letters in the ciphertext, he uses the first 13 letters from the one time pad. He puts the numerical representation for these numbers in the fourth row. In the fifth row, Bob does the calculations. So, 13 minus 1 equals 12. 12 represents M. 7 minus 3 equals 4. 4 represents E. 24 minus 20 equals 4. 4 represents E. 24 minus 5 equals 19. 19 equals T. 18 minus 6 equals 12. 12 equals M. 11 minus 7 equals 4. 4 equals E. 10 minus 22 equals 14 modular 26. 14 equals O. 24 minus 4 equals 20. 20 equals U. 1 minus 8 equals 19 modular 26. 19 equals T. 12 minus 20 equals 18 modular 26. 18 equals S. 13 minus 5 equals 8. 8 equals I. 9 minus 6 equals 3. 3 equals D. 0 minus 22 
equals 4 modulo 26. 4 equals E. The plain text message is, meet me outside. Once a page on the one-time pad has been used, it must be destroyed. As Bob and Alice have the only two copies of the one-time pad, which they destroy after using, it is impossible for Eve to crack the cipher text because it is a random string of letters. Linear Feedback Shift Register It is another example of a stream cipher. This is one of the most well-known ways of creating a pseudo-random string for cryptography. Linear Feedback Shift Register Encryption Alice wants to send Bob a message. The message has one, two, three, four, five, six characters. To start using Linear Feedback Shift Register, a mathematical formula for calculating the keys must be created. To create an example of the formula, we can use this. Where a sub 1 equals 1 and a sub 2 equals 2, the A values are taps. They are built into the system and have the effect of randomizing the key value. This means the formula becomes this. This is the formula that will be used to calculate the keys. To start this off, Alice chooses the first two random numbers to add to the formula. These are the first two keys, E sub 1 equals 2 and E sub 2 equals 4. Alice will need to work out the remaining four keys. To calculate E sub 3, E sub 1 plus 2 times E sub 2. E sub 1 is 2, E sub 2 is 4. This means 2 plus 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 equals 10. 10 is the third key. To calculate E sub 4, E sub 2 plus 2 times E sub 3. E sub 3 is 10. E sub 2 is 4. This means 4 plus 2 times 10. 2 times 10 equals 20. Plus 4 equals 24. 24 is the fourth key. To calculate E sub 5. E sub 3 plus 2 times E sub 4. E sub 4 equals 24. E sub 3 equals 10. This means 10 plus 2 times 24. 2 times 24 equals 48. Plus 10 equals 58. Using modular 26 calculations, 58 equals 6. 6 is the fifth key. To calculate E sub 6. E sub 4 plus 2 times E sub 5. E sub 5 equals 6. E sub 4 equals 24. This means 24 plus 2 times 6. 2 times 6 equals 12, plus 24 equaling 36. Using modular 26 calculations, 36 equals 10. So the sixth key is 10. Now we have our six keys. 2, 4, 10, 24, 6 and 10. Alice creates a table like this. She adds the keys 2, 4, 10, 24, 6 and 10 to the first row. Then she adds the message, meet me to the plain text row, and inserts each letter's numerical representations in the row below. To encrypt the first letter M, she adds 2 plus 12. This equals 14. 14 is the numerical representation for O. To encrypt E, 4 plus 4 equals 8. 8 represents I. To encrypt the second E, 10 plus 4 equals 14. 14 represents O. Using modular 26 calculations to encrypt T, 24 plus 19 equals 17. 17 equals R. To encrypt M, 6 plus 12 equals 18. 18 represents S. To encrypt E, 10 plus 4 equals 14. 14 represents O. The plain text Meet Me is encrypted to O-I-O-R-S-O.
Decryption for this is difficult because the generated sequence is in a pseudo-random fashion and would appear random to anyone seeing it. However, an expert might spot a pattern or feature and be able to eventually crack it. It would take months of intensive computer work, but would be possible.